break. Remember the last time the Steelers were there at the season yeah, that, kickoff in 2015? They had headset issues, communication issues. There's always something it's, that it's goes. It's strange how that kind of stuff happens, <laughs> huh, Coach? Hotel. Uh, never a dull day. Hello and welcome to our championship edition of Game Day First. And we look a little different here on the set. I'm Melissa Stark. I've got my Super Bowl champions. But we also have a pro bowler and Broncos running back Justin Forsett. Great to have you. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. We, uh, you, the offseason, you, how have you spending in the offseason so far? It ended a little early for you, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, a little early. Michael Robinson Boom, right there. there. You go. Could you be right next to you? you we were back. locker roommates, you know what I mean? You was right next to me, yep. you know? It's all good, man. we get some stories throughout the show. Yeah. yeah. So I love having running backs right here. Now I know we can run the ball. Of right. course. Get after it. At the center. Yeah. If only we had an offensive lineman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what what, what could we do? Uh, you know what that adds up to? 62. <laughs> so, so the question is, who could be a track like, coach? Like, call me. I was told with you. there'd be no math today. We nope. thought you were our nutty professor. Hey, in his defense, he stopped counting at 60. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, could it be oh, God. the highest NFC championship? Boy, I don't know how it's not. You know, uh, th these teams are so explosive. They're so efficient. And these two quarterbacks and the way they're playing, Matt Ryan and uh, yeah. I, I can't remember a time. I hope people can appreciate. We're going to this weekend, we're going to see three in my That's how many win in this position, but at the end of the day, they lost the game. Six yeah, and, and, and his tight ends, too. I mean, they're doing a great job. They, they love the three tight end formation. When you look at this game, I, I think this is going to be the best game of the year up with Atlanta. So now I think the pressure is going to play. I mean, how amazed are you by that? And what I'm, do you expect from him? I'm amazed, man. But, I mean, that, that Kevlar vest, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. You get hit on yeah. them. I don't care if they're cracked or floating or yeah. up in the <laughs> ozone. It's going to hurt. Well, good, Unless it's a McRib. More good news for the Packers, right? Uh, Devontae Adams and Geronimo Allison, we remind you, are expected to play as as well we are he, he powered and through it um, all right so we know that uh, Tomlin and Roethlisberger that they both expressed how disappointed they were with this post and that Antonio Brown apologized um, coach is this a distraction how much yeah we, we go round and round about it and is it a big thing probably not will it affect the play no but the sh short and long of it for me is you just went through the numbers how many Super Bowls have the New England Patriots been to and won can you imagine this happening in New England no. And if I'm Mike Tomlin, I'm going, guys, what are we thinking about? What are we thinking it's going to take to go to and win a Super Bowl? Where is our focus? I know it's after the game. I know you're fired up. Very selfish. He knows that. Hopefully. From a player perspective, I don't think guys in the locker room have any problem. Why? Well, I mean, you just can hear it in his comments. I, I, when I first saw this, I thought, boy, that was kind of a dumb move. But now I hear he got paid for it. So I'm like, all right, it really wasn't that dumb. <laughs> He's just being a smart businessman. But I don't think it's a distraction. And I know we're talking about Justin, Justin. 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 But he was on Dancing with the Stars. He's, <laughs> He's a wide diva. That's what they do. Justin, you had a good point. There was a sign, right, in uh, one of your yeah. one of the teams you played. Yeah, in Baltimore, we had a sign that, uh, that says, right before you exit the building, it says, what you see here stays. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to fulfill that time requirement, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, well, we'll see how he fares on the paper. field. I mean, he has four. Four 100 yard games, straight games in the playoffs, Antonio Brown does. So we're going to see uh, how he produces today. He says he loves watching your tape and admires all the things you can do that he cannot do, which is what he said about Rodgers. 21 touchdowns, one interception on this eight game winning streak. Justin, I want to start with you because you played with him in college at yeah. Cal. What do you see in him? What makes him so special? Man, he cares about New York Giants, and the Giants go more than enough time. That was more than enough time for obviously for him to bring. Well, it and he, he has all these late game heroics and these hail marys. Does anything surprise you with him as you're watching him through this postseason run right now? Not much. Not much surprised me, man. Just being with him and having that run with him at Cal and seeing what he's been doing, been able to do out the, the course of his career. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't amaze me. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, nothing's new to me. Uh, just watching him perform at his high level. Yeah, well, we want to send it over to Sean and Michael Robinson. They're going to explain how Rodgers pulled off that upset that uh, Kim was wild about. Mike, <laughs> Green Bay, I believe in destiny. These guys are destined for greatness. This, this. Okay. with A Rod at, at Cal. Right, this is, this I this mean, they emotional. have been finding been ways to win. Yes. Okay. So I'm going with the Packers tonight. Tonight, championship game, the Packers at. The Falcons, Sean. O'Meara. Yeah, first I just want to say off. congratulations. You won the overall picks. Yes, you did. Uh, coach, coach has the uh, trophy. He won't bring it back. No, but no, he gets to keep his trophy. I'm, I'm getting trophy. a new one. I hope. Yeah. All right. Oh. So under this game, I'm taking the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, the one thing that.